Hello Radar Opus users. Okay, so here is another quick video and I'm going to be showing you how you can search in the patient file to very good effect. So click on the option at the top that says search and scroll down, click on search in the patient file. So the new uh, thing we, that we've introduced in version 2.1 is these charts um, so you can get a good overview of um, your patient database so you know as long as you've been entering prescriptions and pathologies as you go uh, you'll get some very interesting results straight away um, and you can audit your practice in this way so I'm not that good at entering all this information every time but as you can see here are the most prescribed remedies arsenicum you know, so it'd be interesting for users to be able to share this information with each other. And here are the pathologies. Um, so you can look by age and by gender. So that's what we have at the moment with the charts. If you click here on search for patients data, um, let's choose to search in, for example, uh, symptoms. So what we can do is just resize the window there so we can see everything. So what we could do here is search for a prescription. Um, let's look for, so you enter the abbreviation and then press enter or return. And then it shows you the number of times that remedy has been found. So the symptoms are there and the name of the patient would be showing but I have it on Congress mode at the moment which hides the names and what you can then do is to click on the Excel button to export the search results as an Excel file okay so let's clear that search and another thing we could do is to search for a symptom so for example ambition and then it shows you all the times you've used that rubric so you could go if I double click on one of these now it will open that patient file and I can say yes to look at the analysis and then once that's loaded you can see there so it's from QREP ambition okay so I'm just going to close that now So those are some things you can do and you can always export the results and you can get an interesting overview of your uh, patients in this way. So lastly, um, I want to show you how you can add options to the add a field, essentially a search field. So what we could do, which would be interesting, is to look at the intensity of um, symptoms so let's say if I put in four here then it's going to show me every time um, I've put in uh, intensity four for symptoms and I can see all of those symptoms there okay and then if I want to extract the results I can export the search here and just give this a name so underlined symptoms and that will be saved as an excel file but i can then open and look at the results so that's just a quick demonstration of some of the changes we've made in the patient file and i hope you find it useful thanks for watching bye bye